I decided to update my shoot blocker video last year. Those of you that saw that video, I had a plate, a uh, shoot blocking plate similar to this, but it wasn't this thick and I didn't spray paint it either red. Um, it was just basically a strip of plywood that I would stick. I would actually bolt to here, the holes here. On either side, I just drilled holes and I had a little bolt and I would just bolt both sides in <clears throat> and I would just mulch up leaves and everything that way. <clears throat> well, I just wanted to one-up it and I've been kind of thinking about this ever since then and I wanted to create my own shoot blocker, you know, that attaches over here and you can, you know, twist it open. I didn't want to spend $400 or whatever to, to buy one. So, just like Johnny Mo in his recent video, I didn't... Um, I actually picked up an extra tip from that video, but I made this, you know, I got the thickest piece of plywood you could get. I spray painted it red so it just looks a little um, less eye um, catching. Um, and I just had it like that, but I wasn't sure how, what to do to get to open and close. So for the longest time I didn't even use it. In the spring I tried it, it just didn't work out. My idea is so until, you know, I actually bought a bunch of different components and things and um, I tried to build a shoot blocker thing here and it just didn't work out well so based off of Johnny Moe's video the whole bungee cord thing for his that a friend of his welded and created you know I don't ha have any welding supplies nor do I know how to so I do everything with wood wood screws bolts it's a lot easier that way but I definitely got the idea of the bungee cord here so I just drilled a hole there and got a you know one of the cheap bungees you know you get a dollar store or wherever and you just attach it to wherever you can in this case there's already a hole here in the frame so I just hook it there so whenever I want to flip it down I just unhook it give it a little flip and then I can just hook it back up I can just hook it back up here and now it stays down um, when I'm ready I unhook it give it another flip up and there it is and then I hook it back here so it does the trick you know it's not as easy one-handed to do um, when you're on the go you kind of have to stop for a second and then do it but it's still one-handed operation it's just hard to be steering and doing that at the same time versus a regular shoot block where you can do it a little bit easier but I did use the brackets that were already here that holds um, the deflector that comes standard with the mower so I just took these and I got some uh, metal brackets here from Home Depot or Lowe's or something I just bolted all that together used all the same pieces that attach the uh, deflector to it so now it's good to go nice and solid so just some ideas I'm sure someone can come up with something better but this works for me for now just wanted to throw another quick tip video out there for everybody Talk to you later.